Hey yo YouTube, what's going on? It's me. I'm just kidding. Hello my fellow Groshi Nobi, it is me, your Rokage here with another video. And in today's video we're doing what if Naruto had the wood style? The wood style. Yes, the wood style. Gang gang, we on it. Wait, oh, wait, gang, gang gang we on it. Uh. Gang gang we on it. Not a skateboard, but we roll it. gonna go over Naruto's heritage before we get into this now yes the way Naruto's really gonna truly gonna have wood style I guess he's gonna be born with it but for him to manifest it the way that I'm gonna have him manifest it and learn all the techniques will be through something something that you guys would not expect so let's go into Naruto's heritage Naruto is the Great grandson of Hashirama Senju, and you know what? You like, bro? Wouldn't that make yes? That would make Minato Hashirama's grandson and Tsunade Hashirama's daughter. Just for this, what if Hashirama had a daughter, uh, which was Tsunade, and Tsunade, and after Dan died, Tsunade and Jiraiya eventually had, a, um, you know, had one drunk at night. And Minato was conceived, but on the the person who delivered Minato was Orochimaru, and Orochimaru would think that Minato might be born with the with Dao. It would take him away, declaring him dead, and telling Jiraiya and um, telling Jiraiya and Tsunade that their son was dead. Now, eventually, after his experiments were done, and he knew that Minato didn't have any um didn't have the Mokuta or the wood style Orochimaru decided to you know just get rid of Minato he went and brought him back to Konoha gave him the name Minato Namikaze no we're just gonna say he gave him the name Minato yeah Namikaze it doesn't matter Minato Namikaze now eventually when Minato was closing towards you know, finding um towards the um his graduation time, he really was very curious. He does not know who Minato's parents are. No one knows. Like he's the Hokage, he has to know this type of stuff, and he doesn't know. So he was in would go do a DNA search, uh, DNA um DNA test with Minato. Basically, allowing him to find out who his parents are. Now, this is what would cause him to um. See, eventually, Minato, he would call back Jiraiya, basically, and would tell Jiraiya that his son is that his son is still alive. And apparently, Orochimaru lied to him and, and Tsunade about their son dying. So eventually, Minato would be taken in by Jiraiya, and, well, and would have became Jiraiya would have eventually became a student. And Tsunade, they would have went out to search for Tsunade and brought her back to the village. Now we're gonna time skip to Naruto's birth, basically. Naruto will be born on this day. And the Naruto sack would go much the same same. Except with um at the end, Donzo will fake a Hokage official Hokage letter to Tsunade and Jiraiya because they wouldn't trust it if it came from just some random shinobi. If it came exactly from Houston and it was official or official like most likely. They would believe it and would not care anymore. And he would send out this letter. Cause this would, would, would cause Tsunade to leave permanently from the Hidden Leaf Village. And Jiraiya would not come back until business. Until it's time for business. Which would be at the age of Naruto's fourth birthday. But something is happening. I'm taking something from Bleach. Just, uh, just a place for Bleach. And the Soul Society. Or the pure world, wherever it's called in Naruto. Hashirama's soul is going haywire. It's bouncing all around, building up a lot of speed. Building up way too much speed as, boom, it shoots up into the sky. And it uses its momentum and speed and gravity to push it down, break, ripping a tear in space-time. Basically teleporting it to back to the real world but Hashirama won't obviously live 
Now, Naruto has shown signs, well, has actually done, like, a minor thing with the wood style. So, he really knows how she, Naruto has this. And Jiraiya knows that Naruto's alive. And he's been trying to follow Tsunade the entire time, which is why he's not here. So, basically, Naruto, Naruto is, um, in his house. Sleep, actually. When only the people who would, you know, who was in touch with the soul realm or uh, who can feel spiritual energy, like not react to it or something, but just, you know, the, the energy of a spirit, they will all feel this. It's, but Naruto will feel this too because, you know, he's the one being hit. As Hashirama Sue would smack right into Naruto's body, merging it, multiplying Hashirama's. Chakra by Naruto's current chakra level, which would be Joni. Well, I'm no, no, I want Naruto to be OP. So we gotta make him have that Kage level chakra reserves he has, making Naruto's chakra reserves go up to that of the Three Tails, and him knowing having memories of jutsus and things that he's never had before. His hair changing from his normal blonde color to a black color. His hair, no, um, no, um, his hair, well, yeah, we're just gonna make it, uh, black. Now, this will also, so, also, Hashirama has been watching over his family, the Central Clan, and his grandson and everything. And all that knowledge will go to Naruto. Basically, so, no, nah, no, nah, um, he's, um, knowledge of Tsunade, basically, because, yeah, why not? Yeah, Minato. So, knowledge of him, because he obviously would have had to him. If he met Tsunade in the original story, he, he had to have met Minato then. Now, it wouldn't make sense. So, we're just going to have kill him off. Plot armor. Anyways. So, basically, Hashirama's soul is basically stuck in Naruto, giving him his wood style. Well, amping his wood style to that of Hashirama's level at its peak. At the time of Naruto being at the age of... Six, maybe he's, I'm not gonna say eight at the moment. Actually, now then, after receiving these memories of Hashirama's lifestyle, life, and everything, Naruto will head to Hiro's office. It will show him that th this cool jutsu that he can do, and basically, Naruto Hiro's will be baffled by the fact that Naruto is doing the legendary wood style, he has the legendary wood style Keke Genkai that his sensei had, well one of his senseis had, and you know, it was just baffled, as Naruto would ask, does this make him a senju, he was in what go on to say on Naruto, that he is related to the first Okage and to Tsunade Senju. But won't but no it's not public knowledge. No one really knows who Minato's parents are. So he could tell Naruto that he is related to Jiraiya. Uh, Jiraiya is his grandfather, and Tsunade is his grandmother. And then Hashirama is his, basically his great grand great grandfather. Now Naruto would basically ask Naruto will basically go on to learn who who his grandparents are, his great grandfather was, and you know will decide from here on that he's going to embody his great grandfather. He would ask Yuzen if he knows what Hashirama looked like when he was his age. As Yuzen asked Naruto, well, also asked Naruto why is his hair black. As Naruto says he actually doesn't know. He just woke up one day and it was like this. He just woke up a couple days ago and it was like this. So. Uzi would say, well, yeah, Naruto, I know what Hashirama's hair would look like. He says, well, I want my hair to look like him. Wow, Naruto, you're really going to embody your great-grandfather. Yes, if I have his kick and Genkai, this bloodline limit that I have to show, show it. Fine, Naruto, but you are to keep this kick and Genkai a secret. I will announce it to you, everyone, that you are a senju. And that's it. I won't announce your heritage because I won't. I won't. I don't want anyone basically only treating you special because of who you're related to.
because of who your grandparents were, who your great grandfather was. Naruto will understand this. The fusion will basically take Naruto to Senju State where it's into the Senju Library. You would say Naruto, but if it is true that you are Senju, you should be able to open this and learn Jutsu from here from the um with the wood style, um from the wood style um library that Hashirama left behind in case any of his descendants had had the legendary KK Genkai. So Naruto would go on to open it, open the library, and then go to the section that has wood style above it. Now we're only open for someone who has wood style and Hashim um and some like some DNA strand that shows that they are descendant of Hashirama, not with Hashirama's exact blood. Because this was made by Mito after Hashirama left. So that no one in case they inquired Hashirama's cells and you know and so and someone got the wish that would try to take it and you know or do something. So this this was obviously altered by Mito. So eventually Naruto would um go on to the wood style section. Um, would cut his hand and would do a jutsu. Shooting got a wood beam from his fingers. Uh, well, no, from his hand, from the palm of his hand where the blood is at. Shooting get and shaping gets where it will fit like a key to the seal. Now this would um go ahead. This would basically go ahead and um open the seal as a key. And inside, Naruto will find Hashirama's armor, his sword, along with his old armor, and his old sword, which is actually, I believe his old sword from when he was a child. If you look up a Hashirama child PNG, or a picture, it will basically show Tobi, the sword that everyone says was Tobi Rama's. And if you, if you, if you see Shinobi, if you play Shinobi Striker, you know the Tobi Rama sword. I believe it was Hashirama's sword from when he was younger, and it was basically a pass me down or something like that. But yes, you will have those those things in there, along with Hashirama's old Senju handband and old kid armor. Here's the same Naruto. Naruto says yes. Why don't you why don't you try that on? As Naruto will say, uh, okay. As Naruto would take the armor and the underclothes of the armor, along with the Senju headband, they will go ahead and go to a chain to a room and change into it to a uh, random restroom and change into the armor and she was just says wow no so you look really good it's not says thanks it says now <clears throat> now we need to teach you basic the basics of I need someone to teach you the basics of the world style so that you don't go experimenting and I'm just says well I I don't know how, but I just know a whole bunch of wood style jutsus that I know I can do. Well, Naruto, I mean, me, you, are going, and some two people are going to take a trip. Okay, we're going to take a trip, basically, to somewhere, so you can demonstrate your power, because we don't want it to do in the village if people backtrace it to you. Okay. I'll be here to pick you up tomorrow at 10. So here's, so we're going to basically go with Yuzin and Naruto at the gate. With two, um, one obviously being Yamato and one being a silver haired person, silver haired Ambu who goes by the name of Dog. And Naruto seen this, felt this chakra before when, uh, when he accidentally bumped it to, some, to a man with silver hair. He's felt this that same chakra that Dog is giving off. He never asked the man for his name, but Naruto will walk up to Dog and say, Hey, you're the dude I run you're the man I ran into yesterday. I'm sorry I bumped into you. As he as you no, know, we all know this is Kakashi. Kakashi will look at Hiros and his and will just shrug his shoulders. As he just says, We need to set off now. As they will all leave and Surprisingly, Naruto is faster than Dog and basically did both of the Ambu. Almost as I'm, you know what? Why not? Let's not let's not make him faster than he was saying. Because Hashirama had to be fast to be the god of Shinobi. So they will see. They they basically see Naruto way ahead of them. It's Naruto then stops. 
And she just says, Naruto, why did you stop? And Naruto says, uh, I don't know where we're going. He says, just follow me, Naruto. And she even would kick it up full gear to full speed to try. It would tell Naruto to dial it down a little bit. Because since he's older, he won't be able to keep up with Naruto. So yes, I basically transferred Hashirama's power over to Naruto. I don't see, I, I know some people want to see a problem with this, I kind of see a problem with it, but anyways, Naruto, Naruto will basically go on, and Yuzen then would arrive at the Valley of the End, as Naruto, as Yuzen would say, alright Naruto, I want you to demonstrate all the Wustak, the Wustak Jutsu that you can do. Now, this is basically what we have Naruto putting on the show, of using these Jutsus. The basics like, you know, the wood dragon jutsu, the wood human technique, the great forest emergence, or deep forest emergence, basically the top transformer Buddha. I'm basically getting this off of fandom, don't judge me, I don't know all of his jutsus by heart, it's kind of hard to, basically, yeah, now, I know you guys wonder, how am I going to power, I'm power scaling, how am I going to power scale Naruto? So, what I'm going to start doing for my what if is giving them power levels. With making Hashirama have a power level, just giving them a random power level of Naruto, for, of the Naruto verse. With Hashirama having a power level of 500 million. And at the start of the series, Naruto having a power level of, well, this is basically their chakra. Their chakra. Uh, basically, how much chakra they have. This, this is what their power level really consists of. In order to have another power level or chakra level of 1 million. He was in being there in the good 100 to 135 range. 135 million. Um, and you know, also on and so forth. With, you know, the Telebeast being in the, not the millions, but the trillions or the high hundred billions and the power scale. So with this, that means yes. If I'm gonna comp compare Naruto to the Three Tails, I wanna give Naruto three. No, 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 no. The Nine Tails give him nine. Three trillion chakra. I want. I'm gonna give the Biju trillions and everything like that. But the Three Tails basically having three trillion chakra points or power. Power of being that of three trillion. I don't know what's 500 million times 1 million if I multiply Naruto's power. So I'm about to do that, look that, do the math right quick, and I'll get back with you guys. Alright, the math ain't mathing. So we're just going to give him basically the power, the power of a, the three tails, which is 3 billion. And Naruto's shark can, um, can, reserves can fill up a lot faster. And this is without the, any nine tails boost. So yes, Naruto's gonna be very OP and rarely run out, rarely run out of chakra. So yeah. <clears throat> now, basically, after showing all of these techniques and everything, the power of Naruto destroys with it. You know, he would know that Naruto, after showing Naruto showing all these techniques, he would know that he Naruto can't do all the techniques Yamato can do. Because it's again go by fandom, or in the video that I watched of all Jutsu Hashirama can do, Hashirama can't do some Jutsu that Yamato can do. I basically I believe Yamato created some some of these Jutsus, where it wasn't so that he could do them in a series. So. Naruto, um, here's when we're basically going to have Yamato teach Naruto at a special, um, training ground. And basically having Yamato and Naruto leave the village for about a year to learn all these techniques. With Naruto's understanding of what style, basically allowing him to learn new techniques, which will take him, what, five, six years from the age of eight, which will make him 13, 14? I hope I'm not stupid. Anyways, we take him th this amount of time, but with Naruto under without the understanding of what's that, but with his understanding, Naruto can learn all these techniques a lot faster. So this is basically where we're going to go into a time skip. Because, yeah, while Naruto has been in the academy, he doesn't show off any of his skills. 
saying the dead last for, um, because of his orders. Basically telling Naruto that if he was to show his skills, and if, it, if anyone was to learn, basically, of Naruto's, you know, heritage that he's related to the first Hokage, and that he has his kick at Genkai, Naruto will be hunted by every village to become breeding stock. It will most likely be breeding stock when his heritage is eventually announced. <clears throat> now, we're going to side skip. A couple days before Naruto's graduation day. Graduation is out. Now, he was in would come up to Naruto and say, I um, would um, ask Naruto to his office, to come to his office, and Naruto would go and things, they would start a conversation. She was going to say, Naruto, I need you to be prepared and to be stronger. You've shown that you've got what it takes to be a Joni. you got what it takes to take the seat from me, but you're just too young and too inexperienced. So, but you do have experience. Why you do show experience that things that you shouldn't even know and things that you shouldn't know about, like things like that. You, you're basic. You're basically saying that Naruto is just too young to be Hokage. And we'll say that if given time, three maybe, three to five years, Naruto would be promoted to Hokage. But we'll tell him that he's going to announce his heritage. At the up and coming shooting exams because he will most definitely have Naruto at these shooting exams. Now, he was in would tell Naruto that this is really what he's called him for to tell him that his heritage will be announced and that he will know who his father is and his <clears throat> who his father and mother is after, you know. Basically, um, after the tuning exams, as long as I would ask him, but would say, but you, you said you didn't know who my parents were. As he was to say, Naruto, if I knew who your grandparents were, you should know that I knew who your parents were. Naruto says, yeah, I guess. Calling me the fool. I don't think I'm saying that saying right. Anyways, he was able to go on to tell Naruto that. It was if it was his choice, he would have told him the day that Naruto showed his true power to him. That basically Naruto Naruto's parents wrote it in their own will. It was at their final at their final word is was their basically their final words that Naruto did not find out until he he became at least a tuning and skill or was strong enough to do it. But he even says that he's gonna go by the second one just to be safe. He says that Naruto has six to seven um nah, um three to four months to be prepared for this shooting in his ass. And to show that he is truly powerful how powerful he is. To show how powerful he is in the shooting in his ass. So yes Naruto is still wearing Hashirama's hairstyle and has actually decided to grow out his hair a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And is actually very tall for his age. You know, gotta make him tall. As tall as Hashirama by the age of 16 or f wherever he comes back to Kona, I believe he's 15 or 16. Anyways, so Naruto, we're, we're gonna try to skip basically to the graduation in there. Now, Naruto will go on. Now, basically, this wouldn't really change, except for the fact is. But yeah, actually, we're gonna have we're just going on stage mostly the same. With Naruto, the site, um, he was in telling Naruto that he has to stay the dead last, that he has to score, that he has to score low, but just low, but just high enough just to pass. Now, Naruto still isn't able to do the wood style, and he still has some of his Naruto tendency, so he knows he's he, so he's an idiot. Who can't really, you know, realize the fact that the fact that he could just use another type of clone, clone jutsu. So Naruto would obviously go on to fail the clone jutsu portion, which would cause him to fail the entire exam and to be eventually be approached by Mizuki. Now Mizuki would basically go on to convince Naruto to steal the scroll of ceilings and uh, steal the scroll of ceilings, ceiling fans, the second scroll. And to bring it out to a um to a shed out of the village and to learn one jutsu from it. Now Naruto has his suspicions about it, but you know, still an idiot. Not gonna change that. He's still an idiot. 
So Naruto, you know, would obviously comply with Mizuki, would go on to steal the scroll of sealing later that night. And would basically, well, basically, Naruto was still, well, after stealing the scroll of sealing, Naruto would spend an hour learning the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Now, Naruto would know the basics of it, so that's why I, I believe it took him two hours to take, we're going to cut, actually cut it down to an hour. Well, actually, 30 minutes learning the basic Shadow Clone Jutsu and 30 more minutes to learning the multiple Shadow Clone Jutsu. So, Naruto, you know, would, would um, by learning these, by the time you, anyone would have came, Naruto would have learned those Jutsus. And, well, basically, now, it, oh yeah, and would, would have re, uh, read something about the what is it that Jutsu called? Um, I'm trying to think of it off the top of my head. It's called the, it's called the Hokage style, older Jutsu, Kaku on tenth edict of enlightenment, or the Hokage style older Jutsu tenth edict of enlightenment. Yeah, that's. So Naruto would have read up about the Jutsu. You know, and everything. He would. He isn't that that he does. This is one of the jutsus that Naruto actually has the most trouble with. Now, why Naruto has the most trouble with his jutsu is because of the fact being that Kurama doesn't want Naruto to um, fully access this ability. So Kurama's been actively using his chakra to cancel out that ability of that skill. This can suppress him and other tail beasts. He doesn't want Naruto basically going around thinking that he's stronger than all tail beasts and everything. Now Naruto doesn't know the Nine Tails about the Nine Tails yet, but you know, we'll, we, um, doesn't really know the Nine Tails is doing this and things like that. So this night will basically go on to how he went last um, in canon, with Naruto basically beating the crap out of Mizuki. Actually, not better yet, because Mizuki came back in the series. We're gonna kill him off now. Yes, Naruto delivers a clean. Cut to the head, completely ridding Mizuki of his head. So with this, Naruto is basically um, how do I say? Um, Naruto and Ibuka basically had their heart to heart and everything. After learning that he's the Naito's Jiriki, Ibuka giving Naruto the headband. You know, taking off his old um his old headband. As Naruto would ask Iruka to tie the, the Senju headband right on, on his arm. And so Naruto, um, you know, would have him Senju headband tied around his arm instead of his head and have his Konoha protector. Which in this one is black instead of blue. We're going to have it black to be more like um, Hashirama's when he wears his Konoha forehead protector. So... This the series will basically go on to continue the same. And this, this is where we get into Naruto meeting his sensei. Now Hiroko will come into class and give his you know speech about how proud of them he is, and would basically you know go on to start introducing the team. He would then go on to introduce the team seven, saying basically saying that they don't call out Naruto Uzumaki. Sakura Harano. To Sakura, you know, would obviously still... Naruto still having his crush on Sakura. I'm not really going to change that at the moment. For now. Naruto basically, you know, going on, um, being on a team with Sakura. Naruto shouting at Sakura, um, being depressed. And when Sasuke gets on the team, Naruto being depressed. With Sak uh, Sasuke, um, and Sakura being happy. Now, he would go on to tell them that Kakashi was their sensei and would tell them good luck. And would go on to announce the other teams. Now, all the other teams would eventually have left left the office and every, um, left the school academy and went on to do introductions with their journey sensei. Now, this is where we're going to have a three-hour time skip to when Kakashi arrived. Now, Kakashi would arrive only for Naruto to be standing right there. Kakashi sees Naruto holding a um a hand sign. The Naruto says, "Water style, severing wave." Naruto's basically shooting out a high pressured, 
okay, you know, pressure washer, not just basically a pressure washer, shooting out a high pressure blast of water. And Kakashi shooting Kakashi through three walls. As Naruto says, you're late, Kakashi. Now, I know you guys wonder, how does Kakashi drop it on this YouTube? I don't know. I doubt it. It does this, but you know, the wood style is a combination of water and earth style. So, why not just give him that? Just one of Toby Rama's secret, uh, one of Toby Rama's jutsus. Why not just give him it? So, you know, Kakashi would stand up to That was really powerful. Anyways. My first impression of you all is, well, Naruto, you're really powerful. But the other two, you seem boring. He says, now, meet me on the, on the roof. As Kakashi and Naruto will both disappear in a body flicker. Or Kakashi will actually puff into smoke because this was a shadow clone. And Naruto will disappear in a body flicker. Now, Sasuke wants to know what, what Jutsu that is so that he can learn it. And possibly use it to kill Itachi. Now, yes, that means not Sasuke is going to be... Some jerk who's going to try and take everything from Naruto because Naruto doesn't deserve it. He's in the Chiha, all these type of things. Now, they will basically have a confrontation with the, um, at the top of the Rudy roof with um, Sasuke basically saying Naruto doesn't deserve these jutsus and all this. Kakashi would eventually tell Sasuke to shut up and to sit down so that they can do introductions. Now, basically, the introduction will go all the same, with Naruto's actually saying the same thing, which is actually why we, we really didn't have to get into the introductions, because it was all the same. Naruto, Sakura still hates Naruto and loves Sasuke. Naruto still wants to be Hokage, still likes Sakura, and Sasuke still wants to kill Itachi. Now, Kakashi would tell them all to meet tomorrow and not, not to eat. Now, this actually sounds very familiar to Naruto. Naruto's gonna go home and focus this down on, um, and try, and um, meditates to try and see what is, he, he remembers this somehow, somewhere. When he finally sees the memory and knows what test they're doing tomorrow, what getting survival tests they're doing. It will basically go on to, well, um... Go on to eat that night in the next morning, preparing for the bell test. Right here is actually where I'm going to end off the what if, guys. Hope you guys have a good day. Your old Kage out.